I'm your review guy, and today I'm going to be doing a gaming review of the Hisense U8G. And if at any point during the video you guys want to go check out this TV for yourself, I put Amazon links down below for the US, UK, and Canada. But let's get into this gaming review. So I immediately want to start this video off by saying this TV does have HDMI 2.1 and a native refresh rate of 120 hertz. So it can run games at 4K at 120 hertz, so this TV is completely future-proof. But now let me go into the other input. So besides the two HDMI 2.1 ports, there's also two other HDMI 2.0 two USB, a place to touch, a cable box or antenna, AVN, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, ethernet, and optical audio out. So it's got pretty much any port that you're going to need for this TV. And again, really nice they added HDMI 2.1 for the 2021 version. I'm gonna talk about input lag and response time in a second, but now let me tell you about variable refresh rate. So yes, not only does this TV have HDMI 2.1, it also has a variable refresh rate, FreeSync Premium, as well as it being a G-Sync compatible. So what a variable refresh rate like FreeSync Premium does is it aims to eliminate screen tearing in game. Screen tearing is when the picture seems to kind of crack on the screen in a very jagged way. So if you have the Xbox Series X, which does have a variable refresh rate support, this is going to be great for you, as well as you have a PC and an NVIDIA a graphics card, it is G-Sync compatible. So a variable refresh rate is a very nice feature to have on a next gen 2021 gaming TV. But now with variable refresh rate out of the way, let me go back and talk about input lag and response time. So the Hisense UHG has incredibly low input lag. You're never, ever, ever going to have to worry about a lag from the controller to the console to the TV. Or if you planned a PC game on this TV, there's gonna be no lag between the keyboard, mouse, PC, and the TV. Games run like butter on this TV, super smooth and it's a really enjoyable and high quality experience. But now let's talk about response times. So the Hisense UHG does also have really fast response times. Now response time is how long it takes for one pixel to change from one color to the next. So this is really important when you're going from dark scenes to light scenes, like if you're in a dark scene and an explosion goes off, or with fast-paced games and motion blur. There is very minimal motion blur with this TV. So fast-paced games like first-person shooter, like Warzone or Halo, look really nice on this TV. But with those three things out of the way, let's go into picture quality, so brightness and HDR gaming. So the peak brightness of the U8G is off the charts. It has a peak brightness of 1500 nits. Now for reference, gaming monitors regularly that are pretty nice range from like 300 nits to 350 nits, and this is 1500. So some of the effects of having an extremely bright TV is that reflections are never going to be an issue. So if you have a room that has a lot of RGB mood lighting in it, or you like to game with some lights on or a window open, this TV is going to overpower all reflections and keep that stunning bright image. And in terms of HDR gaming, it looks stunning. Not only do the highlights pop out of the screen, rays and different shades of blacks are very distinguished, so you're going to get a lot more detail in the darker scenes in game. I've had a great experience with the UAG and it's one of my favorite gaming TVs for 2021. But how about black levels? How is the UHG's black levels? So because this is a QLED VA panel, the contrast ratio is stunning and it has quantum dots as well as full array local dimming. Great news that the black levels on this TV are as, really as close to OLED as you can get before you spend the extra thousand dollars and go with an OLED TV. And on top of that, since it is a QLED panel, you do not have the risk of permanent screen burn-in, which is basically when you leave a TV on with one static image, like if you have Forza and the speedometer down the bottom, and the picture actually burns permanently into the TV. QLED panels don't have this, OLEDs do. So it's great that you're getting as deep as blacks as you can get on comparable levels to the OLED without that risk of completely ruining the TV. Blooming is also pretty much non-existent on this TV. So if you do have games with cutscenes and there are subtitles at the bottom, you're not going to get the haloing effect or the white of the subtitles bleed into the black background. So everything in game looks very clean and crisp and gives a very lifelike experience. But now I wanna talk about PC gaming in particular. So PC gaming on this TV is velvety smooth. Running 4K content from a PC into this TV looks incredible. 
There was a little bit of screen tearing issue that I had when I first was setting up Warzone, but then I changed some in-game settings and then it looked great, so I think that was actually my bad. But after I got that all sorted out, everything looked great on this TV. So I would definitely recommend this TV for PC gaming, even though it does come in huge sizes, 55 and 65. To game on this TV with my PC, I just hook up a Bluetooth controller and yeah, it's a truly great experience. But now let's talk about build quality. So if I can describe the build quality in two words, it would have to be sturdy and futuristic. The screen itself is actually raised off of the brushed aluminum bordered sides as well as the sturdy frame. Well, let me just talk about the stand for a moment. The stand is beautifully curved. There's a lot of nice angles there and it is completely metal. It has a little rubber feet underneath it so that it won't scratch up your TV stand. Now also, like I mentioned before, when you activate the Google Assistant on the remote, the TV is going to recognize your voice and there's gonna be three little dots that light up at the bottom of it to show you that it recognized it. I thought this was a really cool touch that Hisense did and really elevated this TV to make it seem way more futuristic and really like a 2021 TV. So overall, this TV is really pleasing to the eye and it's nice to see the style change up a little bit. It's really elevated a little bit above the competition than those just boring two legs at either side of the TV. And another thing to note is it does have integrated cable management on the back of this TV and screws for the base mount that you just have to unscrew. But let me go back to the integrated cable management. So the frame of the TV actually has little cutouts in the back where you can tuck the wires in and then route them down the back for a much cleaner look. But that was my full gaming review of the Hisense U8. I honestly think this is one of the best gaming TVs for the price for 2021. It has HDMI 2.1, variable refresh rate with FreeSync Premium and G-Sync compatibility, extremely low input lag, fast response time, really high peak brightness with 1500 nits, as well as all of the games on this TV looking stunning, whether it be Forza, Battlefront, Call of Duty Warzone, Black Ops 3 Zombies, whether it be light content or dark content, you get a very detailed pictures and bright colors that really do pop out of the screen. And also those black levels are as close to OLED as it can possibly be before spending the extra thousand dollars to get a true OLED. And lastly, the build quality is just futuristic and really stunning. So whether you want to use this TV for gaming on next-gen consoles like the Xbox Series X or Xbox Series S, PS5, even PC gaming or older consoles like the PS4 and Xbox One, this TV is going to look amazing. So if you do want to go check out the Hisense U8 for yourself, I put Amazon links down below for the US, UK, and Canada. I really, this TV blew me away. I really hope this video and my personal experience helped you out. If it did, it'd be awesome if you could hit that like button or that subscribe button. But I was your review guide and I'll see you in the next video.